G'day General Math students and welcome to the first video in the Finance Unit. In this video we're going to look at simple interest. So this is about money being the Finance Unit and uh, simple interest calculations can be for money that's either borrowed or invested. So it could be that uh, somebody borrows some money from say a bank and uh, has to pay that money back with interest. Or perhaps you invest money in the bank and the bank pays extra money on top of the money that you invested and uh, you receive that interest extra to the original amount. So the simple interest formula is here, it says that the amount of interest I is equal to the original amount, the principal, multiplied by the, by the rate per annum as a decimal, multiplied by the time of the investment in years. So the important parts here are that uh, you change the rate, which is usually shown as a percentage, you divide that by 100 to turn it into a decimal. And with the time in years, uh, if it's not given in years, you need to change it into years. So those are the two sort of trickier parts, I suppose. Let's look at an example. All right, so there's a bit of an example done up here which you can have a look at, but I'm going to try this one down here. And, and maybe you feel pretty confident that you could try this on your own uh, and then uh, watch me do it. So if you want to try it on your own, pause the video now and then I'll have a go at it. Okay, so I'll try it now. So uh, part A... $750 is invested. So that $750 is the original amount. That's our principal. Our R value, our rate, is 8%. So if we divide that by 100, we get 0 0.08, which is our 8% per annum. And the time here is given in years. So time t equals five years we don't need to adjust that at all because it's given in years okay so the amount of interest is equal to the principal times the rate times time those three multiplied so let's see what we get for that three hundred Okay, and we almost always measure these in dollars, so $300. Okay, so that's how much interest it earns. That's done. In Part B, we're asked, what's the total amount returned to the investor? Well, that's going to be that amount that was invested, the $750, plus that $300 of interest. So altogether, that'll add up to $1,050 return to the investor. Okay, part B is slightly different. We'll have a go at it now. This is a credit card account. If ever in the future you get a credit card account, be very careful because the interest rates tend to be quite a bit higher. So you end up paying quite a bit of interest back to the bank on top of what you borrow. So we're cal this one is we're calculating the interest over a 31 day billing period. Okay. The chargeable amount is $3,525.80. So that is how much is kind of borrowed by this person. They're spending money on a credit card. They're borrowing money from the bank. So that is our principal. Uh, and by the way, maybe at this point you do want to pause and try this on your own. So I'll give you the opportunity to do that if you want. Then I'll continue. Okay, so the rate... Well, if we take that 14.95 and divide it by 100, we will get uh, 0 0.1495. Now, with the time, we've got 31 days. That's not in years, so we need to convert that to years. So we divide the number of days by the number of days in a year, which, of course, is 365. If, say, that had been given in weeks, we'd divide the number of weeks by 52, because there's 52 weeks in a year. 
or if it was given as say six months, we divide that six months by 12 because there are 12 months in a year. So that is now converted to time in years, 31 over 365. So the interest that will be charged is 352580 times the interest rate as a decimal times the time in years. Let's see what we get. Three, two, oops, five, two. Okay, that should do the trick. And it's $44.768. Now, you might want to think about this for a moment, and I'll give you the opportunity to. We're going to go to the nearest cent here because we're dealing with money. So that means how many decimal places? Two decimal places. So you need to round this correctly to two decimal places. I'll just uh, tidy up this example here while you think about that. Put this number back that some reason disappeared. And that is, of course, $44.77 that rounds to. So the person will have to pay back that amount that they spent on the credit card plus an extra $44.77. Okay, so go ahead now and look in the description for the video for the questions that you try for simple interest.